Hi guys, welcome back. We are going to do a haul video today. If you weren't aware, we put on Twitter today, but when you guys view it, it would be yesterday because we're filming now, which is Thursday. Thursday. But I'm going to upload Friday because we've got two videos to do tonight. But this one's going to be the first one, which is the haul video. And then this one, the next one's going to be the QA video, which we put on Twitter asking questions that you want us to answer. So we're going to do that straight after this. But today we went to Birmingham, which is our local big city. So we went to the ball ring and we went to the Disney store there, if you guys already didn't know from Twitter. So what we had decided to we're going to show, show you. you what we bought. Um, I did ask personally myself if you guys wanted to see just the Disney stuff or everything. And you said you wanted to see everything. So... And just to clarify, everything. Emma's got a lot more than I have. I've only got three items. I Emma's have about twenty. So I'm gonna we're gonna start off with Emma because obviously she's got a lot more than I have, and then we'll go to mine, and then we'll see what happens there. So I hope you enjoy the video. Yes. So the first thing I well I didn't purchase these. Ashley bought them for me as a present. But um, I knew I wanted them before I'd gone because I'd seen them online. Uh, some socks, Disney socks. Um, so I got uh, four pairs. I got Mickey and Minnie, Donald and Daisy, Alice in Wonderland, and the White Rabbit. And Sully and Mike Wazowski. They weren't very expensive. They feel really good quality. They were only two ninety five each, which I think is really good. I love socks. Um, can never have enough socks. I don't even think they're in the sale. Were no, they, they weren't. They no, were that's normal, normal, normal price. price. So. Um, and they did. They also did Olaf and Cheshire Cat, but these were no. These so. are my favourite four. Um, then I also purchased this drinking mug for work or beaker or whatever you want to call it. it. Um, it's just really so I don't have to take random bottles with me. This cost £7.95. Um, they had Mickey, Minnie, Daisy, and Donald, but this was. I found this was the nicest it was one. A nice one. They're all quite nice. Um, but obviously, they I just preferred this one. I got the colours as well. Yeah. Um, so I got that for work. Then I got this Alice in Wonderland mug. I previously posted it on Twitter. Um, it's saying if I should buy it or not. These, I must say, this is quite a heavy and big mug. Um, but it's not big in the set, it, it's more round than, and it's bigger because it's round and this cost £8.95 so I did end up getting it <laughs> um, it's, it's really nice, nice. nice and I also really liked the Mickey one when I seen it in person I didn't quite like the look of it when I saw it online but then when I seen it in person I, I, I felt differently about it but I did, decided not to buy that one so um, the next thing I bought, which I've been looking for for absolutely ages, and I couldn't find it anywhere, is the Disney colouring book for adults. Um, it's really nice. It's a really, like, it's a really big colouring book, and it, it has all the princesses in. They have Frozen as well, but. I wanted the princesses. Everywhere else I've seen it on WH, um, not WH Smiths, in on Amazon it was twelve ninety nine. But I actually only paid ten pounds for this. Um, I like colouring. It's quite a lot for a colouring book, but when you look inside, there's loads of different designs and that you can do. And obviously, if you like colouring, do as a pastime. You could have hours of fun with it. Um, so. It's not my cup of tea, but 
I think they sell it in WH Smiths as well, so if you're looking for one of these, head over to WH Smiths or your local Disney store. I had to actually ask for this, ask about it. It was on they, the shop floor. Yeah, they weren't on the shop floor, they'd only just had them delivered. So if you, if you, can, if you go for a specific item they don't have it, don't get this hard, ask a ask, cast member yeah. who works there, because 9 times out of 10, They've got it, but they just haven't got room for the stores because I know the one in the bull ring, it's it looks like quite big. a big store, but it's more lengthways and widthways, so they can only fit cram so much in before it looks untidy. So always ask. Um, and then I got my sister a mug for her birthday, which was just a bow mug. She she's a really big beauty and the beast fan. Um, but to go it to carry it all around, I got this princess reusable bag, I think it was a pound. It wasn't very expensive at all. Um, it doesn't say, but I really think it was a pound. It's reusable, it's really good quality, and it's got all the princesses on, and they have them on the sides. Um, so yeah, that was all I got from the Disney sh in the Disney store. And I'm going to put in now. All my purchases were in the very sublevable 5p normal Disney bags. Now, I, I know you pot guys probably agree with me, but 5p for one of these, I'd buy all day long because they just look amazing. A 5p, you can't really know. Would you rather have your cupboard full of Sainsbury's and Waitro bags or Disney bags? It's Waitrose. It's also Waitrose. So, the next place I went was Selfridges into the Mac store. Um, I actually use a lot of Mac makeup because um, my skin is very specific. Um, if I was to use a cheaper brand, I would break out in spots. So I tend to have to use more expensive stuff. Luckily, I didn't need a lot, so I just got an eyebrow pencil which I needed to refill and that cost me £14 which men you probably think that's a lot of money women maybe not and then I ended up getting this um, limited edition lipstick it's by Charlotte Olympia I personally I personally thought it was gorgeous as soon as I seen it I said I was gonna get it straight away to Ashley. I said I really like that. It's limited edition. Um, the colour of it is actually Starlet Scarlet. It comes in a limited edition um, case. It just looks, I'm not sure if you can see, but it's just like a clear case and on the front it says MAC, Charlotte Olympia. And on the back it has a little spider's web. The colour itself is actually, I'm not sure if you're going to see, it's, it's, red. it's a red colour. It's, red. it's um, quite a darkish red and it does stand out but that was £17 so ladies get yourself to MAC if you wear MAC. Gents, stay away from Mac. <laughs> stay away. The one in Birmingham isn't that great. I do advise if you're going to Florida or anywhere in America, go there. They treat you. They do treat you a lot better than the the service in England. No offence to if anyone works at Mac or. For sure, you guys are great. But... Um, just the service in Birmingham isn't that great. I was stood waiting. I would say for about 20 minutes for someone to come and help me. Have, I wasn't really looking, but three people around one person. Um, so you're not allowed to pick the stuff up yourself. You're not allowed to go in the cupboards and get it. So you are stood around waiting for a long time. Um, but when I was in America, before it even got into the into the like, because it in if you've been to Mac in the Florida Mall, that's where I got all mine from personally. It's like it's more like a. Um, a studio or a setup rather than a shop. It's like the it's like a normal Apple store. There's so many workers there. As soon as you walk in someone's street, yeah, they was there. Not, you're right. Do you need any help? They, the the, per, so the lady who good. helped me, I couldn't follow her. I went back to her three times during our trip. 
she was she was so nice and she couldn't do enough to help. Um, so if you're going and you do wear MAC, it is that little bit cheaper, but as well, it's nice service. So the next place and the final place I bought stuff was Lush Cosmetics. I don't know if any of you have ever been or shopped there, but it's just like a bath store. Um, it's not expensive, but it is if you buy a lot. If you're going in there and you only want to spend three, three to six quid on maybe two bath bombs, great. I ended up spending thirty-five pounds in there. The place stinks. <laughs> and yes, if you're not used to going yeah, into bath places, you're very lightheaded. They are very strong smelling because of all the different smells. But if you're from the US, they do have a lush in the US. Um, I saw one in the Mall of Millennia, just across from the Cheesecake Factory. Um, I personally, do, I've only just recently started shopping at Lush. Um, so, but I do, I do remember seeing one there, if you do shop there. So I'll go through what I bought. I bought this face mask, it's called Cup of Coffee. Um, it looks like this. It's a brown paste, it smells of coffee because it's got coffee granules in it. Um, it's actually a face and body mask and it exfoliates. The reason I bought it is because I have very dry skin so it's going to help my skin. It also has lavender and vanilla in it. Um, so that that was £6.50 for that, that tub. Then I got these, you'll have to bear with me because these are a bit crumbly, they, they do get everywhere. The next thing I got is called Intergalactic Bath Bomb and it looks like this. They are really big as well for what you pay. Um, it smells gorgeous. When you put it in your bath, they, it turns it into like outer space, intergalactic. I have had that before and I really like it. That's, that one costs... They were all about the same price, weren't they? About this, three, yeah, this three, was three 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 Um, This one is called the Experimenter. It also, if you ask for them to be labelled, they label it when you take it to the till and it's got what ingredients it has in it as well. This one's the Experimenter. And it's just like... I, wonder, I don't really know what kind of shape that is. It's like a hectagon. Unique. Um, I think that one was three nine five as well. The next one I got is called Dragon's Egg. It looks like this. It's got little pieces of confetti in it. Ooh, it smells a bit. Um, I haven't used some of these before, so I don't really know what they're like. Um, they do different stuff. They do shampoo, they do hand moisturiser, face moisturiser, body scrubs, face scrubs, massage bars, um, hair dye, makeup. They do a lot of stuff. It's all animal cruelty. Uh, not animal cruelty it's all free as you can fight in animal testing so they're really against animal cruelty and you know they don't test on animals they also um they're they're like all natural ingredients so i think it's they're really good the next one i got is called frozen um it's i'm guessing it's themed off disney and it looks like this it's just blue. Um, these all have glitter in them as well, but it's. 
I can't remember what it's called, but it's a friendly type of glitter. I can't remember what they're called. What it's called, but it's a it's a friendly type of glitter, um, and the glitter doesn't actually stick to you when you're in the bath. And the last one I got. Well, I got two of these because I had them before and they are amazing. They're so nice. And these ones actually, all the ones I've just shown you, apart from the face scrub, are only a one-time thing. You can only put them in, obviously put them in the bath once and they fizz off. That's it. These are different. These are called bubble bars and you cut so much off. Run it under the tap and like go like that with your fingers with it in your hand and it turns it gives you bubbles in your bath. Um really nice. I really really like this one. This one's called Creamy Candy Bubble Bar and it looks like this. The last one I got was bigger, that's why I ended up getting two. This one was 2 95 It smells amazing. I love the smell of it. Ashley seems to think it just smells like cherry aid. It smells like cherry aid. But I think it smells really fruity and like sweets. And it smells, no, cherry aid doesn't smell like sweets. <laughs> uh, I don't know what sweets you're eating. But um, the prices, like, they range a lot. Um, it just depends how much you want to spend. If you, they're all freshly made as well. They're all freshly hand, um, handmade cosmetics. This act, the coffee cup of coffee face mask actually tells me this project was made by Colec on the seventh of the third, sixteen, and it needs to be used by the seventh of July, two thousand and sixteen. Best use fresh, it says. So. These are all freshly made. They do have, um, they do seasonal ones as well. Um, so yeah, that was everything I bought. Just a few things. It, yeah. Um, um, so we'll now go on to what Ashley bought, which wasn't a lot. Which wasn't a lot, but I'm happy with what I got anyway. So, so we, what we did is when we got there, we got there quite early, because of course now it's, well, right now it's, these to holiday so the kids are off school so we went there early we went straight to the disney store didn't we yeah see what well, was there we had some breakfast well, we had some breakfast there, yeah. um then we went straight to the disney store to see what was there but we sought out some items obviously emma with her socks we got those straight away and i saw a couple of things so then we decided we'll go have a look round, see what we could find uh, first thing, one of the first things I bought is we went upstairs because Disney's on the ground floor, so we went upstairs to Clinton's. And uh, as soon as we walked in, we saw that they were having a sale on Disney items, like some Disney home um, and whatnot. Cups, glasses, cups, glasses, mugs, uh, uh, notepads, pencils, stuff like that. And one thing that really caught my eye, this was the last one, so I'm quite happy I got it, was a Mickey Mouse plastic. Oh, to see you can see it it's got all different pictures of mickey like they're sketched onto the the cup so i mean i paid about like, three pounds for this didn't i yeah it was two nice so pounds, that was so. quite nice i couldn't i could not leave that there because that was the last one the best so. thing about it is it's plastic but it looks like glass yeah. you get that plastic that looks plastic and you're like oh it's only a plastic glass when i picked this up i genuinely thought it was glass and I was like, oh, it's plastic, but it doesn't, it doesn't look cheap. It's well, nice. It's from Clinton's, isn't it? If, from you guys from the UK, we all know that Clinton's is quite a nice shop. If you're from the US, Clint, your Clinton's would be what they call Hallmark. Hallmark, yeah. Places specialising. Yeah. Birthday cards, things. They also sell some sums there because I was going to go and get the yeah, like Lion King's. Uh, adult Simba and Scar, but they've had any Lion King good day, no. so I'm gonna have to get them I'm not saying else. that it's an expensive shop, no. that we, like, you shouldn't shop those too expensive, no. but they do, they can charge a lot for the cards. And so, so when we did what we got to do, and we got a lush and all that stuff, you know, me plodding along, we went back to the Disney store, 
and we've got her mug and another, another pair of socks. And, I got uh, the, and, Alice. The, and, and the art book. Yeah, the Alice. And then I noticed book. this as soon as I walked in. I don't know much about it, but it's to do with The Lion King, which is my favourite Disney film. Absolutely love it. I, like I said, I haven't heard much about it, but I picked it up because I didn't know what to expect. So I picked up the Lion Guard on DVD. Like I said, I don't know, I don't know so much about it. It was 5 dollars So I'm looking forward to watching that. But we went to Asda. We came back about, like, about an it's hour ago. from America. Asda is, is our Walmart. Walmart. So we went in there, had a look, and it was five, £5. Pound in Asda, but this is more special because it was from the Disney store, so I'm going to be watching that. And then my last purchase, because I only got three, was I tweeted, oh. a, well, you, Emma bought me this, and I'll give you a clue what it is. It's in, it's in a, box. a Disney box. And I tweeted a picture when we were in there of the BB-8 uh, suitcase that the King Vlog uh, put a picture on and also did a review on their channel which we'll link below fantastic channel and I tweeted out a picture of the, of the, the case and tweeted them so, so I tweeted Rich, I presume it was Rich who I was talking to because he, you know, he I'm gathering he likes the Star Wars and I was saying we're very tempted on getting it and he was like go for it, go for it bro. and uh, we were tempted were we, but didn't get it, but I did compensate because I was I did see this straight away, and there were three in the morning, and this was the last one, so I had to I had to pick up, and there weren't any left in the back. So Emma bought me the BB-8 Disney mug. It's quite a big it's mug. Quite a big mug. And it's I would I think it's quite. So I think it's quite, it's sturdy. It's sturdy, and yeah, it's sense. just look. So this was 9.95. So I don't have many mugs, but I've decided that I'm going to buy some more Disney ones because there's a lot of Disney ones that are coming out like quite like the look of. So, but I had to get that one. So Star Wars fan and all that. So Rich, I did get BB-8 related, just not the case. Maybe in the future. So, I've never actually watched any of the Star Wars films, but um, when they brought out the new Star Wars, Max Factor did a Star Wars makeup range, and I wanted it so bad, didn't I? It was so it was so nice. The look of it, the um, the colour of the lipsticks was so nice, and I really wanted it, really, but. They sold out really fast, so I missed out. Well, that was our haul. We hope you enjoyed it. This is only our second video, yes. so, so let sorry us if it wasn't that great. But let us know what you think. Um, sorry as well if the camera lighting isn't that great or the sound isn't that great. We're in the middle of like waiting to get a cam a new camera. We're deciding which camera to buy and you know how long is it going to take us to save and. My ca at the moment we just need to figure out if my camera can be adjusted so I'm having a bit of a fiddle but I'm going to have a play with it tomorrow when I'm editing the videos so the videos will be up well you're watching them today so it'll be from yesterday so we hope you enjoyed the video thank you for watching thank you for watching we're about to, we are now going to go and film the Q&A video which you guys have very kindly sent us questions because we've got a tweet out tonight Whoops, sorry guys. Basically what happened was we were about to say bye in the video, but unfortunately the memory kicked out in the memory card. So unfortunately we didn't have enough memory, therefore we couldn't film the Q&A video last night because we just didn't have any memory. I didn't have my laptop, we just didn't have time. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna film it in the next couple of days. So you, you guys have still got enough time to ask us any questions you wanna know, put them in the description or tweet us. I'm currently editing, editing this video now. Emma's currently at work, so I'm doing it on my own. Don't mind, you know, it's a bit of fun. I like doing it. We only do these videos because you guys help us. Without you guys, we couldn't do these videos. So, again, thank you so much, guys. You guys have been amazing. And we'll see you next time and see you in the next video. See you later.